Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Tony Flamia. I'm the sales and marketing director for the National RV Training Academy. And before we get to this Tech Tip Tuesday, we just want to show you what we're doing today. Uh, we have a new set set up and we are trying to put together a bunch of products that we could put online. So we have some stuff that we're going to come out with in January and we're really excited about it. So without further ado, let's, let's go back to Todd and here he is. Dude, I got things to do. I'm not done. Todd! Can't hear you. Fine, I'll do it. Uh, this is a Yamaha generator. On this week's Tech Tip Tuesday, let's talk about the ever versatile portable generator. Now, I've been going over information about solar and just giving you some tips on solar. And sometimes I get some questions, especially about, you know, heavy loads. How can you say that solar can run air conditioning? Well, it can, and it all depends on how much money you have. But you don't have to have a ton of money for solar in order to run your air conditioner. Did you know that we can combine your battery power through your inverter with a portable generator? That's right, you can combine both your solar and your generator. Now, before you keyboard warriors get on me and say, no, you can't, it all depends on the type of inverter you have. Now, I know that there's all types of inverters out there, but here's the thing, if you can dream it up, we could probably put it together through solar and a combination of a portable generator. I could put some of the power from this portable generator on one of the legs of your electricity, put solar or your battery power on the other leg. Or if you really want, I could take some of the power from this generator, add it with some battery power, and give you quite a bit of power to go ahead and run that air conditioner. So just know if you're considering going solar, you don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars to go boondocking to sit out there and look at those wonderful mountains or sit on the beach. A little combination of both makes it very flexible. If you want to be able to fix 80% of the problems on your RV, check out our home study course at the nrvta.com website. If you'd like to earn an income and create a business while on the road, check out our website at nrvta.info, fill out the form, and start your business today. Hey everybody, it's Tony Flamium, the Director in Sales Marketing, what? And here he is. And you come in with your crap eating grin. <laughs> <laughs> now come on in. Everybody, Todd Henson. Hi everybody. On this week's Tech Tip Tuesday, let's talk about the ever, what do I want to call this? Did you know that we can combine, we can combine your, hmm. Did you know that we can, <laughs> stop. This week, hmm. That's right, we can actually, com, com, <laughs> that's right, we can actually, hmm. <laughs> can combine, we're gonna do it. All right, that's right, some of the power from this, um, that's right, you can actually, you, <laughs> a little combination of both can make you, um, a little. So just know if you're still thinking, hmm. and that's it, guys. Bam, bam.